Um, I know you retired recently. Yes. Um, how recent was that? 2021, June. What brought you to decide now's the time? Well, the, the missus had some health issues, and she's been bugging me to, uh, you know, take time off. Right. And, and then I've been getting very busy with some of the nonprofits that I'm on, and my condo down Carolina Beach keep me busy. So I said, it's time to uh, yeah. call it a 52 years in education, I feel, was enough. Yeah, you've been doing it for a long time. Um, I know you were a teacher before. I know you as a substitute teacher. Right. Uh, Truby, Mr. Truby and I met uh, in my sophomore year of high school. Um, we had, I told this story before on the podcast, but I had a, I started the broadcasting class and Miss Stevenson was a teacher at the time and she was pregnant. And when she had to take leave about two months into the semester, um, Mr. Trubia was the permanent substitute and um, he was, uh, well, we just became good friends, good buddies. <laughs> He appeared in a lot of the videos um, we made, and he was a good sport, funny guy to work with. Um, but, uh, yeah, so that's that's how we know each other. Um, well, yeah, what what got you, what, what led you, and this is a long time ago, what got you interested in pursuing teaching? Well, I always enjoyed uh, school, mm. and uh, I decided at a young age that I would like to be a teacher myself. And I loved history very, very much, so I became a history teacher. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What do you What do you love about history? Uh, all the events, the past events, the people, you know, of history, famous people, and uh, you know, read their stories and understand their stories, and the cultures of the world. Right. You know, traveling around, you know, teaching about things like in Italy, and then going and seeing them. Mm. You know, it's it's really you know so interesting and fun. To experience, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Do you have a particular era of history that you feel like you're most fascinated with that you've maybe dug the deepest into? Well, probably ancient history of China mm. and India fascinates me very much because the advancements that they have made thousands of years before the Western world even knew about it. Okay? Yeah. Uh, like, like Arabic numerals, for one. There's nothing to do with the Arabs. They do with the Indians. The Indian people invented the alphabet, okay? And they don't get the credit for it. Yeah. And the Arabs just, just borrowed it from them because they saw how you know, superior it was to the written language that they were using. Yeah, I, don't, I know I personally do not know much about ancient Chinese or Indian history. Yes, you weren't paying attention in school, were you? Well, I was no. I definitely was not uh, a grade A student in terms of. Um, it wasn't until like the end of college that I got interested in reading. Like I feel like my whole education, I never enjoyed assigned readings, and I was really resistant to them. And it wasn't until the end of college that I suddenly had this like profound sudden sense of oh reading is amazing and i can choose what i read and then i would go buy books and select them myself and i read a lot but before then i was yeah very resistant to um assigned readings and um i was definitely not a like if there's one subject i was i was a good art student i feel like i liked that and i liked um the literature classes because um I, I got to write in those. I, I got to make things. Um, any class that there was a like assignment, like I like projects um, where I got to like, yeah, make a thing, um, orchestrate a, a piece. I enjoyed that. And broadcasting, obviously. Um, got to do a lot of like hands-on media creation. Mm -hmm. So that was always good for me. But um, yeah, I know I was not a good history student. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry to disappoint you. That's all right. But you you were creative. I remember you had a very creative mind, especially with the Man on the Street episodes, things of that nature. They, yeah. they were a lot of fun and I enjoyed them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you still have your award for softest skin hanging up? In oh, your... <laughs> yes. I forgot all about that. No, I, I put it away. I forget where I have it, but it's somewhere. But I do remember that award. I, yeah. I remember coming over to your house to shoot that uh, minimum wage episode and yeah. uh you're playing the, the attorney yes. and i saw your very nice you know home office and i mean it's a beautiful home office and then there's just this shitty 
<laughs> wrapped bottled water <laughs> that I put aluminum foil on with this, this handwritten label. And like, this does not belong in here, but this is so sweet that he has this on display. But anyway, I appreciate, I appreciate that. And I understand having to put it away at this point. Um, yeah. So ancient Chinese history, ancient Indian history, a lot of advancements. I know you said the, the numerals. Was there anything else in that area that just like really fascinates you about that? Well, basically a lot of the culture uh, with the Chinese invented and things that we didn't have before. I mean, a movable type, things of that, block printing, okay, and uh, many, many other areas uh, that they had. They were so far superior, okay. I mean, they, they were the most advanced country civilization in the world for thousands of years. Mm. Uh-huh. Yeah. And pretty much now the same is true. <laughs> yeah, far, far more advanced. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Well, in what way? Because, yeah, again, I'm just not, like, educated on this, mm-hmm. I don't think. In what ways do you see that they're, like, still uh, advanced? Well, you can see now the, the advancements in China. Is, it's a leading superpower mm. today. And many of the products... And things we get come from China, mm. right? Uh, they're produced there, so they are definitely our competitor. You know, not Russia, China. Yeah. In, in advancement in the world, yes. China and the U.S. are the leading countries in advancement. Mm. Yeah. I. <laughs> I feel like you have a lot to say, like a lot of knowledge on on this. Well, I don't know about that, but uh, you know, just just read. You like to read? Just read about what's going on. <laughs> 